Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to your readings for December 2019. We made it. We're at the end of the year, guys. We got through this doozy of a year that was 2019. It's been really a strong one will say, but hey, we made it. So congratulations. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Eric. It is very, very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up guys? It is great to see you. So before we move forward, I just wanna say this really quick. I have this small intro here that I put in front of all of the monthly Zodiac readings. Um, and if you are new to, the, new to the channel, I highly recommend that you watch this intro once just so that you can get a general in some general understanding of how the readings work, how you can contact me if you would like a personal reading, blah, 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 all that good stuff. If you are watching multiple videos, I have put a timestamp in the comments section below that you can use to skip this intro, but I still recommend that you watch the intro at least once, yes? Moving forward from there, right after the intro, you're gonna find that we start into, we do actually get into the reading, but we start with the pre-shuffle energy. The pre-shuffle energy is the moment that I take right before I start recording the actual reading where I'm channeling the energy of the zodiac sign in question, and I start to shuffle the cards, and when things come out, I start to get the, the general energy of what we're gonna potentially be talking about during the reading. Now, it doesn't always have to be that that message continues, into the actual full-on spread for the reading, but it seems to be that way. It's quite often seems that the pre-shuffle cards come out, come back out in the actual reading, which is really cool. But just to clear up some confusion, that pre-shuffle energy is in fact part of the reading. But because this is a general reading, if that doesn't resonate with you, don't worry about it. Um, just get through that and then see what comes out in the rest of the reading, yeah? So I want to wish a very, very happy birthday to the Sagittarians out there because we are in your season. Happy birthday, my Sagittarius! Yeah, it is your birthday season. Very happy birthday to you guys. I love you all so, so very much. I hope you have a great, week, uh, a great month and a great birthday season. I also want to extend a very happy birthday to the December Capricorns out there. We're going to be moving into your season next, at least in terms of Vedic or not Vedic, I'm sorry, Western astrology astrology. With that said, my channel here can resonate either way, Western or Vedic astrology. You take that into account. You let that work for you. And if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about here, don't worry about it, okay? It, just let it go over your head, <laughs> okay? Um, so with that said, we are moving into January, which is going to be the two-year anniversary of Divine Conversations. Divine Conversations was actually the birthday of Divine Conversations is January 8th. That was the first day that I posted readings here on the channel back in 2018. So Divine Conversations is going to be two years old, you guys, in January. I am super, super excited about that. Um, if you would like to get in on some sort of celebration about Divine Conversations or for Divine Conversations, if you want to send a gift, some, some, something to commemorate, blah, blah, blah. If you have you know a special um, deck of cards that you would like to send to donate to the channel to be used on the channel, whether that be Tarot or Oracle cards, I do have a P.O. box. The, P, the, the address for the P.O. box can be found in the description box below. Um, along with a bunch of other information, like information for personal readings, yes? So keep in mind that these readings are general, okay? So please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a more specific view into your situation, then please don't hesitate to email me. My email address along with a list of the readings that I offer, their descriptions and their prices can be found in the description box below. Yeah. Um, so you also can find me on social media. I am on Facebook 
at facebook.com slash divine conversations 2711. You can also find me on Instagram at divine underscore conversations. The links to those sites can also be found in the description box below. I do invite you to interact with me on social media, Facebook and Instagram. However, if you would like to send me a message, if you would like to contact me, if you have a question, if you want to, if you want to um, order a reading from me, I highly recommend that you do not message me through through Facebook just because I don't always get those messages as quickly as I would like to or as quickly as necessary. Um, I do not want to miss your inquiries, especially if you're looking for a personal reading, okay? So your best bet, if you want to get a personal reading with me, your number one best bet is just to email me directly, divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. That can be found in the description box below. Or to just send me a message on Instagram. Instagram is much easier for me to communicate with you guys uh, direct message-wise. Facebook is just not that reliable, and I don't want to miss your inquiries. Inquiries, okay? So for the cross watchers out there, I do want to explain that these are general readings and mostly I am going to be speaking to the, um, well, not mostly I am. Yeah. Well, actually, yes, mostly I am speaking to the Zodiac sign in question, but because these are general readings, it can be vice versa. It can switch. So if I am explaining a a situation for say Aries and you're a cross watcher for an Aries and I'm speaking directly to the Arian however the story that I'm telling is f is flipped and I'm actually it actually resonates more than I'm speaking to you than the Aries then take it okay take it as it resonates but if it doesn't work that way don't try and make it fit you're only going to at that point end up confusing yourself more or just getting all um, confuzzled and you're just worse off than when you started yeah cool um Finally, what I want to mention is I'm using a brand new Oracle deck this month. And actually, this Oracle deck, it's called the Earth Warriors Oracle by Alana Fairchild. This deck was sent by one of our viewers, Sam. Hi, Sam. Thank you so very much for sending this deck. I used it for the readings this month. And let me tell you guys this deck is awesome it's so interesting how i can you know choose different oracle decks and the messages still resonate very strongly with the rest of the reading you know i was actually and i shouldn't be surprised by that but i was a little I, it was pretty awesome pretty pretty awesome Ooh. okay well with all of that said i think we're ready so let's get into the reading yeah <laughs> Awesome. Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for December 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Before we get started, I just want to mention that I apologize if um, any of the noise from the construction across the street gets picked up by the mic and if it's uh, at all distracting or anything, but I can't do nothing about that. <laughs> so sorry about it. But anyway, let's get into your pre-shuffle energies. The first card that came out for you, Leo, is the is death. Um, and what I heard when that card came out was a new cycle is approaching, a new form of life, of life, a new way of living, a new way of physical or creative expression, maybe. And it's interesting with the rest of what came out because already I was kind of feeling like you were, you, your energy was feeling very bright, bubbly, vibrant, maybe even excited, um, maybe fairly content. Okay, but then the death card was followed by the nine of swords and the nine of wands with the hierophant as the overall energy. What I feel like is happening here for you, Leo, is you might have some sort of anxiety or fear surrounding what's to come next. I do feel like either you are very aware of this shift or this transformation that you're going through, this new cycle that you're about to step into. Um, you're And you're either aware of this, number one, just because you sense it coming, or number two, because you have been taking active steps towards moving into this next phase of your life, into this next cycle. But there's still a little bit of a fear of unknown 
that's coming forward towards you. Now, this is kind of a little bit contradictory because then also what I'm getting with the nine of wands is that you have this other side of you that's like, you know what though, I've been through hell and back. I can do this but then there's still one side of you it's like well yeah i've been through hell and back i can do this but that doesn't mean that what i'm experiencing or what i'm going to come up against in this ne next cycle is anywhere near rese anywhere near resembles what i've already been through okay <laughs> Ultimately, though, Leo, I think I really do feel like you got this, okay? And with the Hierophant underneath the deck, this feels like a graduation. So you could be literally graduating from high school from, well, no, you wouldn't be graduating from high school in December. <laughs> But you could be graduating from college or some sort of training program, some sort of, you could be graduating. This literally could be a graduation. But then also in spiritual reality or in like, you know, energetic reality, this could, this is, this also could be a graduation from one energetic, one energetic state of being to another. Or it could be both. A physical graduation from a training program and which is ultimately a, a, an energetic graduation but honestly leo i feel like especially with this hierophant energy here i feel like you are well prepared to enter into this next cycle of your life so you really don't have to worry about being afraid of what's to, what's to come next all right okay excellent let's move forward and see what else we have for you what other messages we have for you for the month of december yeah leo all right all right i mean this year has been a really this year has really been a doozy so i do feel like for those of you that are really in this energy of graduating to a next to the next phase of your life i really do feel like 2019 has absolutely prepared you for that okay beautiful um and don't we have some eclipse aren't we moving into like an eclipse cycle i don't know i'm not an astrologer so i don't know but um if there are any solar eclipses that are coming maybe in december or maybe january february or something like that i feel like that could be really be significant for you that could herald or mark this change from one energetic state of being to an to the other i don't know interesting okay sorry my back is itchy <laughs> okay let's let's get into the rest of the reading here leo hi spirit please make me a clear channel for all leos sun moon rising and venus please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of december 2019 Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Leo, I'm going to give this five shuffles, but I, I'm i seeing purple, like a mixture of purple, maybe even blue. I do feel like you are about to enter into an energetic space or an energetic cycle that's going to be way more... I'm hearing things like productive. Um, you're going to be able to express yourself in some new ways or in some improved ways. This is shuffle number three. You, um, yeah. And you have, and you definitely have a lot of higher wisdom or esoteric understanding under your belt. And I do feel like with that Hierophant energy, that is your graduation from just a strict three-dimensional or material view, point of view, way of thinking about things. You're graduating from that into a more universal, energetic, vibration, resonance, esoteric wisdom point of view, which is helping to improve your quality of life or give you the potential to improve your quality of life in some really amazing ways. All right, Leo. Let's see what we've got for you here. All right. Overall energy, Leo. Oh, yes. Ten of Swords. Very first card right out the gate. Ten of Swords, man. 
And this could be a culmination of so many circumstances. I really don't feel like this is one specific circumstance, Leo. I feel like this is a plethora, maybe even a lifetime of certain situations and circumstances that led you to where you are at this moment. Beautiful. Underneath that, oh, ooh, the three of swords. Okay. But keep in mind, Leo, I'm picking, I'm feeling that this is the clearing the ending of these energies, right? Heartbreak. I'm also, I'm feeling neglect, maybe even betrayal. Okay. I do feel like you're kind of standing up for yourself, taking your power back, taking your authority back, taking control of your life, putting an end to certain situations that, Ten of Swords, that left you heartbroken. Three of Swords. And any other situation that could leave, potentially leave you heartbroken, like completely relieve, leaving that behind. Underneath the Three of Swords, the Knight of Cups. Wow. Let me tell you, this definitely feels like a Phoenix from the Ashes Risen type of energy, but it also is like, this, is, this, this feels like to me, regardless of whatever it is you've been through, Leo, you are not going to let anyone take love away from you. You are not going to let anyone keep you from living with an open heart, keep you from expressing yourself as you truly are meant to. Beautiful. Underneath the Knight of Cups, <laughs> yes, the Six of Wands, Leo. Now, first of all, this is your energy, okay? Um, but, I mean, Phoenix from the Ashes Risen is right. I mean... You better get it, Leo. You better get it. I'm sorry, guys. I need some chapstick. But honestly, like, I, this, couldn't, this couldn't be a better turnout for you. Honestly, I really feel like no matter what it is the universe threw at you in the past, you did not let that get you down or at least get you down too much. Or at least in the energy that I'm feeling for you right now, you're no longer going to allow any of this shit to get you down. Excellent, Leo. Excellent. Okay, let's get into the rest of your reading here. First half, second half of the reading. You could look at this as the first half, second half of your month. Do whatever you feel is best for you. Yes? First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Leo. You've got the page of wands rediscovering yourself re-identifying yourself embarking on some sort of new creative direction new creative endeavor you might have something to say you might have something to share with the world the knight of wands i'm sorry the page of wands it can be a messenger so i feel like this does have a, a heavy creative expression connotation to it so again, you might have something to say, you might have a vision or an experience or some sort of thing, something creatively that you might want to share with the world. I'm also feeling an energy of just re-identifying, rediscovering yourself, okay? Looking at the world and yourself from new, refreshed eyes, no longer, mm. for some of you, this is an energy of removing the rose-colored glasses, and seeing things as they truly are, seeing yourself as they truly are, seeing your, your circumstances as they truly are even. Mm -hmm. Okay, Leo. Page of Wands is coupled with the Three of Wands. Okay. This is giving me an energy of your path, being on your path this whole time. And now it's like you're, you're ready to re receive some sort of return on an investment, and that investment has been everything that you've been through up until this point in your life. You're ready to receive that return on an investment. And it even could be, Leo, that you're ready to receive that return on that investment because you are finally accepting your, your true self. Or you're finally accepting some sort of mm, responsibility or um, element of your life that you may have been neglecting or rejecting in the past. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies, Leo, in the first half of your reading. The Seven of Wands. Good. 
Strong defenses, strong boundaries. Again, not letting anyone get you down. There are so many wands. You got the six of wands underneath the deck. You've got the page of wands, the three of wands, now the seven of wands. You're really fired up about something. You're really passionate. I even feel like you're very excited to move in this new direction, Leo. This is beautiful. Seven of wands is coupled with. Okay, look at that, the Ten of Wands. Wow. So things that may have been burdening, burdening you in the past, you are not standing for that any longer. You are keeping that at arm's length. You're like, absolutely not. I am not doing any of this anymore. I am not carrying these burdens for you. I'm not carrying these responsibilities for you. I'm not carrying your guilt. I'm not carrying your shame. I'm not carrying the projection that you wish to put upon me. None of that. Beautiful, Leo. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, you have the emperor. So the emperor could be your energy. I kind of feel like this is an external entity. I really don't necessarily feel like this is you. I mean, the first thing that I thought of when the emperor came out was like you being the master of your own domain, but not being extremely controlling. But also, I'm feeling like this is external circumstances. I feel like you're, you may actually come up against someone who is an emperor in their own right and may have held some sort of power over you, but you're no longer allowing that to happen. I kind of get a feeling of like going toe-to-toe -to -toe with this person. Not necessarily because you're really looking for a fight, but maybe because they may approach you and try and maybe assert some sort of dominance over you. I don't feel like you're having it. I feel like this, the emperor being in the challenge part here is part of a way of you asserting yourself against people that wish to domineer or control you. The emperor is coupled with, you could be dealing with an Aries. You also could be dealing with a father, the four of pentacles. I'm sorry, not the four of pentacles, the four of wands. Um, interesting that I said the four of pentacles. First of all, there are no pentacles that have come out for you yet. Is there? What about the pre-shuffle? No. It was death, the nine of swords, and the nine of wands with the hierophant. Yeah, so no pentacles have come out in this reading yet. And yet, what I was saying here when the four of wands came out was the four of pentacles. You might be letting go of fear of your, your father or some sort of family member, some sort of patriarchal family dynamic. The four of wands can represent the home. The Four of Wands also represents foundation, and I see it as a reader a lot of the time as spiritual foundation. So with this being said, I kind of feel like you have the wherewithal too and the, and the stability within yourself to stand up to someone, to stand your ground against someone that would really just like to control you and keep you under their thumb. This absolutely could be your father. It could be a grandfather. It could be a mentor. Uh, it could be a boss even or just a very domineering masculine energy, which could be in the form of a physical woman. And if this is a family dynamic, I just feel like this is someone that has a lot of control over the family dynamic or has, is, is highly respected within the family. And I feel like that's mostly for their physical, material um, accomplishments. But Leo, I do feel like you have the spiritual foundation to even embody this en emperor energy yourself. I guess also the challenge with there would be not to be as controlling or maybe even as domineering as maybe some of these other people in your external reality that the emperor would represent for you. Okay. The, 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 the challenge could also be to not get so wrapped up in and drunk with power that now you're forgetting your spiritual foundation that has led you to be in this position to begin with you know what i mean okay closing message or potential outcome for you leo in the first half of your reading Ooh, the devil i'm hearing releasing family ties releasing karmic control the devil is coupled with the Page of Cups. Interesting. Interesting. The Page of Cups is giving me an energy of um, focusing on or analyzing your 
emotions. But what I'm getting specifically here is, is paying attention to your emotional health where you may not have focused on that in the past. And what I'm feeling here, it was the focus was mainly on the material, how much money you have, how good your job is, how nice of a house you have, having all of your ducks in a row, looking good on paper, that kind of energy, where now, and, and, and that was toxic, right? That was the devil represent, showing up in your life somehow. But now you're letting go of that and now focusing on your emotional health as well as your physical, material, financial health. I feel an energy of placing more focus on your emotions and your emotional reality where it may not have been focused on in the past. And even also maybe some sort of creative expression too with the Page of Cups, because the Page of Cups or the Cup Suit is mostly emotion, but it can represent creative expression too, because creative expression often comes from emotion, right? Or often generates some sort of emotion or is intended to generate a certain emotion, a certain feeling, right? Okay. This is very good energy, Leo. This is beautiful. Let's get into the second half of your reading. First set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Leo. Ooh, the antithesis of the devil, the lovers. The lovers is often about a choice. The devil can be seen as about a choice too, because ultimately the devil will only have control or power over you if you choose to allow him or the circumstances to do so. And so now what I get here with the lovers is you're choosing virtue over vice or you're choosing yourself over the material world or you're choosing yourself and your happiness and your well-being over how people see you. Which is interesting, Leo, because you are a very prideful sign. Your image is everything. But what I feel like here, Leo, is you're placing more value in how you feel about yourself rather than how others may perceive you. I feel like you're putting more value in your happiness and your wherewithal, oh, not your wherewithal, your happiness and your stability and your, your emotional, mental, physical health and allowing that to cultivate a beautiful, shining energy that will, rem that will emanate from within, which will then help to change people's perspectives. And I feel like with this, this spiritual foundation that you really become rooted in, you recognize that you would rather glow from the inside and be more authentic to who you are and, 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 up, and, and show up that way rather than twist and contort yourself and contrive some sort of image for people just to be accepted. There is a focus here, especially with this lover's card coming right out of the devil energy. There's a focus of letting your inner light and beauty shine and speak for itself. And in my opinion, that is definitely an energetic graduation. <laughs> the lovers is coupled with, yes, the world, y'all. Choice made, cycle ended. Beautiful. Oh my God. That is so beautiful, Leo. Congratulations. You earned it, you are worth it, you deserve it, okay? Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Leo. The Four of Swords, okay. Be willing to rest. I'm hearing humble yourself. That could be coming from this Six of Wands energies also, but um, take some time to meditate, to rest, and to relax. Allow yourself some time to retreat is what I just heard. But also, maintain your mental stability, all right? Don't get too big for your britches here, Leo. Four of Swords is coupled with. Yep, Six of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, you did, there is a little bit of a cautionary energy here of maintaining some sort of balance, reciprocity. You might need to spend some time meditating on what would true be true reciprocity and balance in relationships, balance between give and take for you in your life. But also you may need to stop and, and meditate a little bit on how you can be more giving, maybe even more receiving. 
actually, yeah, it would be more receiving because I do feel like there is an energy of you wanting to give, you wanting to creatively express. And this also, this four of swords, six of pentacles could be you taking some time to really meditate on how best to do that, to express, to give. Okay. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Leo. Ooh, the five of swords. Whoa, I did not see that coming, but um, there are some enemies lurking. Misery loves company is what I'm feeling like here five, with this five of swords energy. Do not allow yourself to stoop down to that level, Leo. Stay in your high ground. There could be some people that may want to come forward to challenge you to see if you really got what it takes to stay in this upper echelon of energetic vibration. Or maybe with intentions, they might say, well, you know, I'm just, I'm just testing you, you know, to make sure that you got it like that. You know, I'm on your side when really they're not. They're really just looking for an excuse to try and tear you down. So keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes peeled. And keep your ears open too. Yes? Five of Swords is coupled with temperance uh -huh -huh. you see balance patience balance and patience do not fall into this trap do not allow yourself to stoop down to lower vibrational reactor reactor reaction based circumstances okay so if somebody's coming at you with some mess don't even acknowledge it. Don't even give in to it. Closing message or potential outcome, Leo, in the second half of your reading here, you've got the high priestess now. So this is the the um the, blah, 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 the, uh, the counterpart to the Hierophant, which came out in your pre-shuffle. But this, I really do feel like this is you entering the realms of higher awareness, higher understanding. There may even be some secrets revealed to you coming up this month. High Priestess is coupled with... Oh, the Empress. Ugh, yes. Entering the realms of universal abundance and security. I'm hearing safe and sound. And it's because of this understanding, this higher wisdom that you've cultivated, that you're able to comfortably sink into this unconditional love and awareness of the abundance that we all have access to, right? But you see, those people that are coming forward with that Five of Swords energy, Leo, are re reacting or acting from a place of lack. And so that's also why you have this Temperance card here, or this Temperance energy. Be patient with them. Understand that you were in that energy once as well, especially if these are family members, because these are things that you would have learned from them and needed to pull yourself away from. Okay. All right, Leo, this is beautiful. One last shuffle. And let's see what we have for your oracle guidance for this month, yeah? For my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oracle guidance, please, Spirit. For my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What oracle guidance do we have for my Leo? Oh, oh, that's way too many. That is way too many. Yeah, I'm going to try this one more time. <laughs> Just one card, please, Spirit. One card for uh, oracle guidance for my Leos for December. There it is. It's card number one. Okay. Hojo. I hope I'm saying that correctly. The beauty way of the Navajo. Beautiful. Let's see what we've got. Do, 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 do. There, there it is. Okay. You are my sacred earth child, and I am your divine earth mother. With unconditional love, I provide all that you want and need so that you may fulfill your sacred destiny. We will always belong to each other. With abundance and generosity, I support you, revealing the divine beauty meant for you, so that joy and awe shall fill your soul. Relax now. It is time for you to be healed. In a reading, this card says, 
there is a beautiful solution available. Do not place your faith in worry or stress. Allow life to unfold. As you relax and give yourself permission to rest within the vastness and beauty of nature, you will become receptive to the best way to handle things. Don't try to figure it out by force. Let go and trust that what is needed is coming to you at the perfect time and in the perfect way. Your peaceful mind shall perceive readily and accurately all that you need to know. Beautiful, Leo. So there you have it. I hope that was helpful for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, if you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading next year. Yeah? Take care. Bye.